Hello there. It's been some time, hasn't it? Pretty... Oh my gosh, how do I even do this anymore? I'm a little bit uh, rusty when it comes to this kind of stuff, obviously. It's been quite a while. Um, but maybe we can just jump back in and it'll just be like nothing ever happens. That's what I'm hoping at least. So, why don't today we do a special little treat and do some local listings. Well, not quite local because anymore, well, since the last couple years... OfferUp has had a cool feature where you don't have to look up locations anymore, specific places. You still can, but they have nationwide stuff too. So I don't necessarily need all the information I was taking from you all last time, if any of you are still around. Probably not. Like your zip code, city, and state. Now I can just look up graphics card and see what comes up. Oh wow, so we have a reference RX 480 8GB for $100 plus $8 shipping. Uh, so yeah, when you do the nationwide, of course, it means shipping is enabled for these items. Um, but of course that is fair. So $108, that is decent. I did get an RX 480 uh, MSI 4GB for I think 80 bucks recently. So that was actually a really good deal. This isn't too bad either. That's still quite fair. Ooh, next I see a Titan X 8 gig. Is this the Maxwell or I forget if the Pascal one looks different. Oh uh, yeah, that one is much more angular. So this one is the Maxwell version, which is still decent. It's just very power hungry and slower than, geez, I don't even know. Uh, a, a definitely a 1080 is faster. Uh, for 250 bucks though, that is pretty decent. Or 261 after shipping. That is admirable, though it is a blower style, probably gets very hot, not super power efficient, and isn't the best for gaming. But it's still a nice piece to have. I think a couple years ago I saw one of these, or a year ago I saw one of these for, um, I think, three or four hundred. So yeah, that is fairly decent. 1050 Ti Gaming X for a hundred bucks, 110 almost. I would say that is also decent. Look at a few of these pictures, just for you guys. I know I haven't been doing that. My bad. Very rusty, as you know. Ooh, comes with stickers and such. All that good stuff. I know someone who had one of these and sold it off a uh, while ago at this point. <coughs> yeah, uh, 100 bucks, 110 I think that is fair, though the RX 480, even though this one would run cooler and it's more power efficient, the RX 480 8GB or 4GB is still way faster than this. Not way faster, but fast enough for it to make a difference for paying 100 bucks. Even though this would run cooler and quieter, uh, there's a lot of variables to, to look at when it comes to purchasing a second-hand graphics card. And many of you might not even be comfortable with doing that. I would say most of the time it's totally fine to get something second-hand. Ooh, this is a gaming PC. $464 after shipping. So, this is a brand new just built with a Ryzen 3. Ooh, is that a 1200 or a uh, 1300X? You know, I just realized recently that they have the 2300X and maybe a 2200, uh, but they're only in pre-built systems like I buy power. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think though that's still a uh, Zen Plus, and by this point they're a little old. But I'm a little upset they they don't just sell them uh, because that that I could have taken advantage of that. Uh, recently. So there's also a Red Dragon RX 570 with a 500 gigabyte oh, or 128 gigabyte SSD. Why or? Is this a hard drive and this an SSD? Why not both? Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna guess that's a hundred even though you can get a Ryzen 3 for about 80 bucks or less anymore. So 80... 130 or I'm going to say 160 writing out brand prices uh, that's 200 300 350 400 I would say this isn't a terrible deal but it could be way better $500 almost $500 for a not excellent quad core processor the Ryzen 3 first gen uh, they are a little slower on the slower side uh, compared to like a Haswell i5. I think they're pretty equivalent perhaps, but um, I would say this is good enough for 
gaming, definitely. Um, I'm going to leave that one as an I don't know. Sure, it's not a great deal, but it's not a terrible deal either. Here's a 280X for $80. I would have to say... Eh, no. Ooh, winky face. Love this graphics card. Never overclock casual use. Just build a new system selling old parts to a good home. I would, uh, yeah. Uh, again, if you can find a 480 for 80 bucks, now that's a good deal. Something like this compared to a 480 isn't very notable. I'm getting lots of things on this one. Usually I'd have to look around for quite a while and and you're all zip codes trying to find something decent. But uh, since we have nationwide stuff, uh, that's very nice. All right. We have an Asus and Graphics card. Oh, G4. Oh, it's a 570, a one gig. Hmm. I thought 570s, GTX 570s, not RX 570s, uh, were 1.25 gigs. Either way, it's still not very adequate in terms of today's standards for gaming. You do need at least, like, 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 is just, it's pushing it too close for 1080p gaming anymore. Um, especially for, only for newer titles, that is. But if you, 4 gigs, I would say, is the minimum you should have. Okay, 2 gigs minimum, 4 would be recommended, and more than 4 would be very nice. Uh, so this, only if you, this isn't even like, it's an Asus blower style. I would prefer an EVGA one because those look a bit cooler. But for $43, that's not bad at all. Very power inefficient because it is Fermi. Oh, here's a 570 for 100 bucks. Meh. 960, 2 gig for 60 bucks or 70 after shipping. Gonna have to say meh on that one too. Uh, I mean, a 960 is uh, about the performance of a 1050 between 1050 and 1050 Ti, about toward 1050 Ti. Um, but it does only have two gigs of VRAM. Usually, you see the two gig ones. Four gig ones, of course, probably be more expensive. But um, yeah, two gig is is cutting it quite close for gaming anymore, which is so weird because just a few years ago. Um, only the high-end cards, like a 970 or a 980, were 4 gigs. Here's a 780 Ti for 110 bucks. Hmm. That's a tough one. I'd have to say no, because you can get an RX 480 for 100 bucks Or less, if you look around a bit. Okay, I gotta find some good deals. I Not just stuff that's, oh, that's alright. I gotta find things that are... What the f rig is this? So it's apparently a 1060. Never used normal overclocked, whatever that means. Never dropped it or anything. <laughs> okay, you didn't have to say it. Since you said it, I'm a little sketched out. Uh, used for normal, took casing, used normal, took casing off to modify it. So kind of, okay, it's kind of like a 1070 overclocked. Oh wait, so it's kind of like a 1070 overclocked too. I have created a 2070, okay. Mm, not sure. When people type stuff, commas and periods are very helpful. So it's a little, is a little weird reading all that stuff. You took the casing off and the I/O plate. How are you supposed to screw that in? Not that it's going to be too heavy to where it's going to fall out or anything, but it's nice to have it secured more than just by the PCI Express slot. That's just odd to me. I mean, it is a 1060 for only 80 bucks, which is pretty good. But when you can find an R, uh, it is more power efficient than an RX 42, and it does run cooler. This is just a weird one though, because why would you take off the casing and then sell it? I mean, you are just trying to get rid of it. I get it, um, and it is kind of at a cheaper price. I don't know. That one's up to you guys. Whoa, this is bad. So here we have, oh my god, okay, we're using screenshots, are we Stefan? Stefan Jones? So, 150 for a Vision Tech Dual GPU Radeon HD 6870. Why are these so expensive? Because you're getting them from Newegg, or they're refurbished. You're not getting them used. Okay, so 6870, um, 
isn't even the highest end ones. Uh, so yeah, 6915, 6970, and then the 6990, yeah, is the dual, the dual card. But a 6870, yeah, uh, I mean, either way, it's still terrible in terms of today, today's standards. But 150, and it's dusty as all heck. Look at that thing. Red PCB, you don't see that anymore. But wow, look at those copper, I assume copper heat pipes. Wow. Yeah, but no. It's, wow, yeah, way to look at VGA store. I've noticed they have quite ridiculous prices. Yeah, way to use that as a reference. 650 bucks. Oh my god. You know, I wish I could curse on YouTube. I guess I could. I just have to bleep it the f*** hey. out. Which is always fun, having to do that. I've been good so far. Oh, times, wait. Times two. Are there two of them? You're not showing two of them. Why does it say Vision Tech 6870X2? Thanks, Google. That, yeah. Everything says X2. I assume it is a dual GPU card. Either way, we're getting nowhere in the realm of having this worth 150 bucks. Some people are just... Can I say hey. started? I think I can. I'm gonna say that. A 1066 gig, slightly used for 190 after shipping. No thanks. Here's a GTX 470, so an old Fermi card, for 30 bucks. If you really need it, if you don't care about the heat output or the power draw, and you don't care about the the short if you don't want a game if you just want the card to have it and you don't care about your electric bill uh then sure i mean that's cheap but it's not a very practical card anymore oh here's a blower style 660 for 43 bucks i would say that is fair that's fair not as that a 660 really games anymore like, compared to this, a GT730 for 50 bucks after shipping, the 660 is looking good, as well as the four, the GTX 470. Uh, like, this is, don't buy this for 40, 50 bucks. A 760 for 100 bucks? No, thank you. Oh, here's a 660 for right under 40 bucks after shipping. So yeah, a nut, like, this would be a decent choice if you don't care about playing new games, if you're not playing at... If you don't care about FPS or high quality settings, if you want to play older games, like this would do Skyrim totally fine. Uh, CSGO even, n no problem. Uh, it is less power efficient than a lot of cards today. I'll give this one a pass as the cheapest 660 so far. The best cheap card currently. This is has my seal of, of a, approval of like that means anything. All right, I got to find something worthwhile. Oh, shoot. Well, I just found it. So here's an EVGA classified GTX 580, a 3 gig variant, not the 1.5 gig, how they came by default. Again, it's Fermi, very power hungry, very, very hot. Um, but wow, a 3 gig EVGA classified version. What? Two 8 pins and a 6 pin. All right, cool. Move my mouse out of the way. I do need thumbnails and whatnot. Wow. All right. All right. Yeah, for um, <laughs> when cards were less than a gigahertz. For 50 bucks? Yeah, okay. I mean, sure. If, if you don't care about the gaming and you just want a cool card, that's a nice pick. That's for sure. Here's another, I guess, slight example. Like, for less than 30 bucks, you can get this old AMD card that came in, like, some pre-built do not buy these. A GT710 would be a better choice than these. I wouldn't recommend this either. Um, I think I might have in a way. Uh, I haven't watched my old video, but it's uh, still getting views about the 710. That was like three years ago, four years ago, maybe. Way more power efficient, even though it's slower than Intel's integrated graphics. Intel's integrated graphics. But, I mean, oh, there's no but. No buts. For 30 bucks, less than 30 bucks, no way. I would still get one of the $40 660s. Definitely get a $40 660. 
over one of these any day. That's awful. Half a gig of memory. Nice. Yeah, 6350, whatever. Here's a 1050 Ti for 100 bucks. No thanks. That was a decent card many years ago at this point, but definitely not anymore by today's standards. Definitely definitely no. If you since especially since you can get an RX 480 or 580, probably 480 is more likely for 100 bucks. This is a definite no-no. No-no seal of approval. Oh, it's a kitty cat. 750 Ti was good when it came out. It was a good card almost six years ago. Oh, here's some Vega 56s for 210 bucks. They definitely weren't used for mining at all because there's not multiple when you don't need more than one. But, uh, yeah, that's actually not terrible. Oh, I have five RX 560s. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Okay, ooh, that board's bending a little bit. So let's look at some pictures. Uh, so yeah, this is a um, X58 motherboard. Back when they were all super colorful. Or, uh, yeah, P Asus P6T. Okay. So we have some memories there. Uh, yeah, that board is quite flexy. Now this is pre-USB 3.0. And you get a HD5850, which is old and not fast paired with an i7 that's old and not fast and 8 gigs of memory uh, 18 gigs of uh, DDR3 only 80 bucks but it's kind of a, a collector's kind of piece an x58 board well it, this is probably only a quad core i7 it might be like an i7 930 or 920 um, a cool tip is that if you ever do get one of these boards with an i7 that's specifically a six core i7 you sell that and get a xeon because it's a better bin and you overclock the snot out of it and that's how you get good value but meh 80 bucks who knows oh my god rx 460 for 150 no thank you a gt 730 for msrp no thank you 960 for 125? No, thank you. All right, yeah, we're going to switch this up. Any good CPUs? Oh, there's a G3258. That was the Pentium Anniversary Edition, unlocked, dual two-core, two-thread, not usable anymore, but only, t like, less than 30 bucks. Uh, I think I got mine for about 40. But, yeah, um, it's a cool piece to have. But it's not very usable anymore. They can usually hit 4 gigahertz pretty easily. A Celeron. For 30 bucks. No. Why? <laughs> An FX4100. For um, almost 50 bucks. No. Don't. Whoa, what the hell? 3930T Celeron for 100 bucks. Who is this? Why are you doing this? Josh? Yeah, nice picture of Zen 2. Yeah, you're... Oh my god. What the hell? Yeah, okay. So it's 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 nearing 1700 after all the shipping and stuff. Alright, I'll say this is adequate. But it is all now used. It's not in box, though it's already been built. Uh, it doesn't seem like... Okay, local pickup. Alright. Um, I mean, could be better. I'm not impressed. But this, now this is a deal I like to see. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. But why this one? Tell me that. What's so special about this? Okay. Why are these 70 bucks? Okay. So you're still a hundred. You're still 30 bucks way too high. But why is, other than being a 35 watt chip, okay, it's KB Lake, so it's still newer, but it's not a good chip, other than being low TTP, which I get, that is some grounds for it being more expensive, but it's, no. Oh, here's a 2700 for 190 almost 200 after shipping. 
Well, guess what? You were beat by... You're being spanked really hard by everyone else selling it for 170 How much is yours? 200 Very, very, very nice. Yeah. Terrible deal. Good job. Dang, okay. Some floppy games. Tom and Jerry. Okay. F1. I am getting bored. So I think we're going to end that here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If I ever edit and upload this, uh, uh, I've, yeah, uh, let's see if I <laughs> don't upload again for a year. Ah, we'll see. Okay, thank you for watching. I have nothing else to say.